It is currently midnight base time and 2200 hours local time. The last few glimmers of sunlight are fading away as U-531 reloads her torpedoes in preparation for a second attack. We are laying low at a depth of 30 meters, mostly to avoid the harsh storms above. Hydrophone contact on the convoy has been lost. In 20 minutes, U-531 will surface and attempt to chase down the convoy under the cover of night. War 3 wird geladen. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back aboard U-531 as we continue to chase down this convoy. As you can see, we are submerging the boat. We're going down to around 25 meters, and we're going to do a quick hydrophone check and see how we are doing. So our last contact with the convoy was really up here when the second tanker ended up going down, and I've been tracking it ever since. We have lost pretty much all contacts uh, with it for the entire duration here of this journey. We were cruising on the surface as it's two o'clock in the morning and it's fairly dark, so I figured I'd risk it. We're just diving down to do a routine hydrophone check. The crew has been, being, been pretty tired uh, the past few uh, hours, but we're slowly getting everybody caught up. We got all torpedoes loaded and ready to rock and roll. Okay, we are down at 24 meters. Let's do a listen. Let's turn up the volume as well. And yeah, we'll just do a... Uh, there we go. Perfect. Dead ahead, really. Zero, one, zero. Okay. That's definitely a convoy. It's pretty far out. But that is, uh, that is the target right there. Nothing else around us. They sound pretty far away. Okay, let's adjust our course though. Zero, one, zero relative. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Neuer Kurs, zwei, drei, acht. They still sound very, very distant. They're probably pretty far out there. Because what was it in? Yeah. Yeah, they're still pretty far away. Probably around 30 kilometers. Oh, it's getting wider. Can kind of make out the destroyers. That at 3500, that is definitely a destroyer. Okay, periscope up. I'll see you again. I don't think we have a whole lot of nighttime left, really, to be honest. It's been a very bright night. So, hopefully we'll be able to track the convoy down before before our, you know, nighttime goes away. I wasn't able to recharge our batteries to 100% because I'm really trying to chase them down before the night ends. I recharged them past probably around 90% there, uh, but still not ideal. Not 100% battery power, but well, we'll just have to live with that. I'd rather get into a position to attack under nightfall than uh, than surface during the daytime, especially since this convoy has its own air cover, as we saw from the escort carrier. Okay, up scope. And here's the torpedo situation while we're here. We have three forward torpedoes and one in the stern. This is our homing torpedo, so. And, and look, it's all, it's really bright. Not a fan. Let's do a quick sweep. And then the convoy's at zero, 010, zero, so we'll focus in on that area. Just want to be sure nothing snuck up on us. Rather be safe than sorry. Okay, pretty much dead ahead, 010-ish. Zero, zero yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Still really far away. I would like to turn on my radar and try to get a beat on them, but that's just going to give our position away to the enemy. So we're just going to have to rely on hydrophones and the watch crew's vision. Down scope, surface the boat. Adjust to full speed. We'll continue tracking them down. I think the general course really is the same. Also, they may drastically change course. It looks like they are heading probably to Halifax or something like that. So. 
Uh, we'll just continue to track them nice and slowly. Once we surface the boat and get my good watch crew on board on the deck. Like this guy. There we go. The officers are all exhausted, as you can see. So I'm going to have to start rotating them all in and out. So is the watch crew. They're getting pretty tired. So... Yep, the crew is exhausted for sure. I do think this will probably end up being the last episode of the patrol, seeing as we really have no torpedoes. We have enough for one attack, and that's about it. We're going to go into standard mode. Do not want to recharge our batteries now. Want to squeeze as much power out of those diesels as possible. So that is the current plan of action. Hopefully we'll be able to track the convoy down and get into a suitable firing position before daytime. Okay, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, and the convoy has gotten much wider and much louder, so we are closing on their positions. That destroyer sounds awfully close at 340. It sounds like it's... booking it as well. Okay, it's slowing down. Yeah, that one's very close. We are getting awfully, awfully close. Let's adjust course. New heading yeah, 240. We'll try to go around the starboard side of this convoy. Because we are sneaking up on them from behind. I don't want to just run smack dab into the middle of their escort screen. Well, U531's once again on the surface. It's 317, and I just wanted to show you all how just bright it is out here. I mean, I can see you really damn well. And that means the escorts can as well. Uh, it's not a full moon. It looks like a waning gibbous there, but it's still enough light to really cause issues. Also, we're up pretty far north. Anyway, just a cause for concern, and I'm really worried about it, especially since these Allied destroyers have radar. So I'm checking myself. <laughs> I'm using my binoculars to scan every so often just to really be sure nothing's sneaking up on us. Uh, the watch crew has been known to fail us from time to time, so I just want to be extra, extra cautious. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update and show you folks just how bright it is out here. Anyway, the weather is causing some issues, though, definitely slowing us down. And this will cause issues for the Allied escorts, especially all these waves. Let's get a proper weather report. We've got to move this guy here. There we go. Clouds clear, precipitation none, fog light, wind speed 12 meters per second, direction 103 degrees, so. Uh, less than ideal, but that's fine. I would like it to be a little foggier, to be honest. But this will, this will have to do, and this will certainly conceal us whenever we're under attack. Fuck, ship spotted. Right, that's firing. Really damn close as well. Head north. Go down the periscope depth. Prep this torpedo. Magnetic pistol. Up scope. The destroyer escort. Oh gosh. And the watch crew failed me. It's currently, what time is it? 4.40 in the morning. Okay, here's hoping this torpedo doesn't fail us. What kind of destroyer escort do we think this is? C, single stacker, probably an Everts. Draft is 3.5 meters, lock on target. Still firing, 3.5 meters, slow down. Swing our boat around. All right, torpedo depth, four meters. Just over four meters. Continue swinging. We have another warship. Okay, no need to yell, no need to yell. Another warship closing in as well.
Rudder midships. LM bow. Pretty much heading straight for us. Speed five knots. Range one kilometer. We'll do 1.5. Lock in. Tube five. Open tube five. Let's just check. Yeah, generally heading down her line of bearing. It should acquire. Through this range, one kilometer. Not that it really matters. Okay, tube one, or tube five, excuse me. This is our homing torpedo. See if it works. Tube five, los. All right, down to 60 meters. Down scope. This doesn't work. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun on our hands. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this thing didn't run deep. Launching these torpedoes in crappy weather and setting them shallow is just a, uh... It's a crapshoot, really. Oh, the torpedo has acquired the target. Let's take a look. Here's the torpedo. It's running at its designated depth. And it's running right for the engines of the destroyer. Let's go. Come on. Got her! Hell yeah. That was satisfying. Oh, and broke her in half, too. Okay, so that is one destroyer dealt with that was heading our way. I'm not sure if these other three contacts are. Let's get our hydrophone operator to follow the target accidentally. Clicked out of my screen there. Follow the nearest warship, please. Let's turn around and get them out of our baffles. Bearing 206, increasing speed, closing. Which one's at 206? It's this fellow. Thankfully, it's pretty far away really far away. I'm sure this one Everts class was probably, probably had picked us up on radar. Let's see. JC Butler class, 1,350 tons. That is what we sunk. Well, that, that was our first successful attack with a homing torpedo. Let's drop down to 160. We're going to head west and let's increase speed as well. I'm trying to get away from the scene of the crime. That went really well. Really well. I'm happy with those results, despite the crappy situation that we found ourselves in. That thing was able to get way too damn close. Um, someone was sleeping on watch. Anyway. That does it for our aft tubes. We are all out. Now we just have three forward torpedoes. Hopefully, we'll be able to launch them off into this convoy. Unfortunately, as you saw, it's getting pretty damn bright. It's 4.50 in the morning. And, uh, well, if one destroyer picked us up, I'm sure the others will at this point. I may have to call off this attack and wait for another target of opportunity. But I won't call it off just yet. We're going to see what these destroyers do. If they don't come this way, which would be awfully surprising, then we'll continue and try to re-engage. But if they do and keep us suppressed... I don't think we'll be able to chase down the convoy in uh, such, you know, bright conditions. It's just suicide, especially considering there's the escort carrier, uh, which are probably launching their own aircraft now. I mean, we take a look. It's it's pretty bright. It's nice and early in the morning. I'm sure they're going to get cap up um, rather quickly. So it, it may be best just to completely call this one off and uh, wait for the next convoy around because we had two picked up in this general area AK-49 and 46 seem to be pretty good squares so I may just continue patrolling these waters until we find another convoy that we can uh, make a submerged approach on well the destroyer actually didn't even come all the way up here it uh, 
you know, started coming up, circled a bit, and then went back to the convoy. Let's come up to periscope depth and see what the weather's like. I have a feeling it's going to be nice and bright. It's currently 5.08. Uh, we'll use some time compression as our boat comes up to PD. But, yep, the contact's faded. I'm sure we can still, still hear uh, the convoy as a whole, right? Yeah, there it is. It's just... Maybe too far for us. Okay, let's come up. I'm surprised they didn't come up to even look for survivors for this uh, destroyer escort. Although, considering that explosion, I highly doubt there would be anyone left alive. Okay, 14 meters. Up scope. So this is the one we sunk here, JC Butler, 93 meters long, top speed 24 knots, and its draft was uh 2.9 meters. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, looking at the sky, I'm not going to surface again. That's just asking for trouble. And I'd rather be safe than sorry, and not be attacked and picked up by another destroyer. After we launch that homing torpedo, we don't have uh, any means to really defend ourselves. So the best defense is staying down below 25 meters. Down we go. We'll set up a, another patrol area. We'll clear this. We'll patrol the... Yeah, we'll go up to probably here, AK-46, 54, 57, and 49. We're just going to patrol these waters. We'll head to 57 and go up to 54 and patrol around here and hopefully we have a convoy that just crosses our path okay we got a report merchant moving fast closing bearing three zero zero well that is definitely of interest to me we're gonna mark it let it run for a bit okay it looks like let's head north increase speed to one third where are you going, my friend? It looks like it's just heading southwest. Looks like two, four, five degrees, more or less. Close enough for me. Go like so. Yeah, we'll head towards this. Make my heading actually zero four zero. Oh no 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 no, three four zero. Hopefully we can close in on this. See what's going on here. What's our battery power at? Just under 80%. Okay, let's go full. 330. Sure, this may be a long shot. 8 kilometers. All head flank. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just check out what it is. Up to periscope depth, please. Continue running flank speed. Trying to get close. Sometimes uh, these hydrophone lines, well, they are inaccurate, so it may be closer than expected. Let's slow down and take a look out of our periscope. See what the target is. Okay, up to periscope depth, 14 meters. We're at four knots, so we'll be able to see without the vibrations interfering. Up scope, uh, hydrophone operator, can you follow the target? 025. Okay, 025, there she is. Ooh, looks like a chonker. Moving fast, oh, that is, uh, that's a hospital ship right there. Well, we won't be firing at that for obvious reasons. Good. Hopefully we didn't waste too much battery power chasing it down. Should be fine for now, but we are not going to fire upon a hospital ship. Can we go back to sweeping? We'll uh, resume our original course. I'm working on rotating all my men in and out, getting them all well rested up, mainly the officers at this point. 
Uh, so it's a slow process, but it's starting to work out for me. Let's take a look at this hospital ship. Where is it? Well, let's see. Where's our ship? Our boat. Excuse me. There it is. Yep. Hospital ship. We've seen actually quite a few of these uh, this playthrough. Well, who knows? Yeah, we've seen we've seen multiple, so uh, it's quite interesting to uh, come across them. Anyway, we'll resume our original course and keep hunting for more vessels. Okay, we got a report of a large convoy in grid AJ-93. Course is east-northeast and speed is 9 or 8 knots, excuse me. In 5 hours, U-531 will be in this position. We are currently going full speed and making 16 knots on the surface. It is quite cloudy out, so I'm not too sure how many aircraft will be flying yeah, in this weather, but it is something we need to be wary of as we are operating here. In four hours, the British convoy will be right here at this point, and we will be 60 uh, kilometers away from the target at that point. So we'll be well ahead of it and in a pretty good position to make a submerged attack, I hope. Anyway, that is the current plan of action anyway. Hopefully this convoy doesn't deviate from its course too much, but I suppose time will tell. Anyway. I will cut now for the time being and keep you folks updated as we begin the chase. Okay, we just got another radio report of a hunter killer group heading north northeast, speed is eight knots, and it's relatively close to our position, close enough for concern here, uh, around 300 kilometers away. And then right after that, <laughs> right before I started recording, uh, we got the fog sided warning, so it is now raining. Uh, which is really unfortunate. Let's get a proper weather report. Excuse me. Oh, I need a navigator on. There we go. As you can see, the crew's all rested up. I'm slowly but surely getting there. Uh, proper weather report. Uh, heavy precipitation, heavy fog, wind speed 8 meters per second. Hey, not, not too windy, so at least there is that. At least we have that going for us. We may be able to blindly fire into the convoy. Oh, uh, we'll see, though. We'll try to work something out. Maybe we can even just get close enough to fire our torpedoes off. Anyway, I'll keep you folks updated as we continue to close in on the convoy. Hopefully the weather will clear up just a little bit for our attack, but I'm not holding out hope on that. And I may turn radar on here shortly. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, so we've received another report. Enemy large convoy, AK-47, course east-northeast, speed 8 knots. And it is right here, very, very close to us. And speaking of that... Can very faintly hear it from 350 to three uh three three five yeah thereabouts uh, we have we can hear the target which is reassuring that we're on the right track let's turn towards it and plot a new course heading uh east northeast so zero seven zero go mark and speed eight knots so let's do one hour, one, eight knots in one hour, 15 kilometers. We'll just use this. Wow, 15. It's only going to be there. How about in two hours? 30. Be right at our position in around two hours. Okay, good information all around. So we'll head like so and kind of cut into it like that. That's the current plan anyway. Okay, we've established hydrophone contact with the convoy and our operator is able to distinguish single ships out of here. So I'm guessing these two are warships, huh? You go ahead and follow the nearest warship. And we're going to get everyone in the control room who needs to be there. Warship moving fast, closing bearing. Three, four, two. Rig for silent running. Okay, 
up scope. Take a look. Thankfully, the weather is nice and poor. So they're going to have a hard time locating us. Just doing a quick sweep real fast. See what's going on. Nothing down scope. Okay, lots of merchants. I... Warship moving fast, moving away. Okay, you can go back to sweeping. Warship closing. Dead ahead. And this is most definitely a warship at uh, 025 degrees. Up scope. Warship bearing 011. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, down scope. Lots of destroyers here, apparently. Okay, let's drop down to around 40 meters then. What's this one at uh, 011? That's a destroyer, right? Definitely. Let's keep heading. Let's head this way. Okay, and we'll also reduce speed to around two knots. 50 RPM. Yep. This destroyer is heading our way. This one right here. Okay, down to 60 meters. Let's adjust course. And hopefully they don't hear me. Things are really damn close. It's around one kilometer out. Drop down 70 meters. Shit. That's not good. Okay, what is this? Zero six zero. Destroyer. Hauling ass. Deeper. Oh gosh, it's coming. It's making a beeline for us. It hasn't pinged though. Oh. May have picked us up. I'll stop. Hey, it's gonna come right over the top. You follow it? I can't actually hear it, which is quite surprising. Hauling ass. Kriegsschiff auf 306 entfernt sich. Oh, I hear it. Directly above us. Come on, weather. I guess we can take a look at it. Yep. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Flower Class Corvette. 
We're literally right on top of us. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, well, let's adjust our course slightly. And come up to periscope depth. Oh, no, 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 no. Periscope, please. And we can start moving as well. Okay, yeah, passed right over. God damn, we're getting lucky with that. Okay, we need to come up to Periscope rapidly. Let's start moving. I want to be able to fire my torpedoes. Coming up, 51 meters. Hopefully we actually see some halfway decent targets. We'll probably catch the tail end of the convoy once again, but still better than nothing. This is, wow, second time. I've been able to sneak in like this. I'm quite surprised. Pleasantly surprised, <laughs> but surprised nonetheless. We've been lucky with this crappy weather. Under, uh, you know, clear conditions, this would not be possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set all this good stuff up. Speed, 8 knots. Angle on bow, we'll just plug 90 port. Range, 1 kilometer for the time being. We'll, of course, get that here soon. Let's see, 8 knots. Up scope, dead ahead. 17 meters scope is almost clear get ready to fire our last three torpedoes magnetics all set draft will adjust accordingly but we'll go ahead and set it to seven because why the hell not okay up scope quick sweep no destroyers. We got a target here. It's kind of puny. Lots of... Okay, a small merchant. Let's adjust course. Another small ship, you gotta be kidding me. Man, I guess I can take one out. I was hoping we'd get some tankers or something. I think this may be the last ship in the line here. Let's start moving standard speed. Really push our luck. Okay, apparently we have visual on another merchant. I mean, I'm risking... Okay, that's a Granville-type freighter, and that's better. Much better. I wonder if we'll be able to see into the second column. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh. Apparently, they spotted another ship. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. A tanker? Now that makes this all worth it. Okay. I can barely even see it through all the fog. It looks like a modern tanker. And T2. And I'm just clicking. I may have skipped it already. <laughs> Getting close. And... There we go. Modern tanker. Modern tanker. What? 10,000 tons? Yeah. 10, 11,000 tons. Hell yeah. Okay. Angle on bow. It looks damn near 90 to me. 90 degrees. This dumb little uh, rowboat. <laughs> This not want to get in front of us. This junk. Get out of here. I'm not concerned about you. All right, let's do it this way. Let's see, mass height is around 10. 1,700 meters away. Speed 8 knots. Angle on bow 90. Tubes 1 and 2 will be fired. Draft of this bad boy is 11 meters. We'll set tubes 1 and 2 to 10. 
salvo. Got one tubes. Or we'll do one and three then. Tube three. Twelve meters. There we go. Spread. Of course, nothing. Angle on about 90, 90. Perfect, perfect. And open tubes one and three. Angle on bow is increasing. That's fine. All right, tube one. We'll fire at the superstructure and then uh, tube three will go at the mast. Los, tube three. Los. One torpedo left. What do we have here? Small tanker. I'll take it. It's either that or the Granville. Which one has is more? Granville, 4,000 tonner. But the Granvilles, man, they're... They look small, but they're tough. They are very, very tough. I think I may fire at the... Uh, the small tanker here. I'm looking at my torpedoes. It looks like they'll pass this small ship just fine. They lock on target. Angle on bow. Looks about right. Torpedoes are running. Okay, all ahead full. Uh, we'll fire now. Actually, stop, stop, stop. Range is probably still... 17. I'm curious to see. The torpedoes are about to hit. Let's watch. Torpedo treffer. Perfect. One hit. And apparently that was enough. Two hits. Beautiful. All right. Next target in line. Draft is five meters. We'll set to six and a half. Tube, tube, open. Sollen wir helfen? Vielleicht leben noch welche. All right, tube two. Looking good. Lost. Down scope. Down to 140, all ahead flank. And we're getting the hell out of here. That's one medium tanker. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised with that. We have another torpedo heading off to that small one. I should have fired it sooner, obviously, but I was kind of indecisive at it, debating if I should wait for the Granville or fire upon the small tanker. Okay. Anyway. Modern tanker, 11,617 tons. Quite happy with that. We're going to change our course. New heading 200. And decoy here. All right. Good attack, boys. Happy with that. Looking at our torpedo here. That heads towards the small tanker. Sounds like a merchant ship's going right above us. Yep, that Granville. Fired at, fired at this one here. Fortunately, without the bubble trails, there it's hard to see your torpedoes. But she is zigzagging quite aggressively. I would not be surprised if that torpedo just flat out misses. And I'm okay with that. Down to 120. Reduce speed. Rig for silent running. Uh, let's go down. Let's push it 180 meters. I'm hoping we can get out of here unscathed. Uh, new heading. Let's adjust course. 230. Haven't been pinged. No pinging. 
Yeah, I think that, that torpedo missed. I probably should have fired at the Granville. It was just so close, but live and learn. Okay, we have something moving in towards us. Down to 180. V speed to 50 RPM, please. Perfect. All right, we're golden. And with that, once we uh, escape these escorts, we're heading home to St. Narzir. We have one pretty close, 500 meters out, more or less. No pinging yet, though. We may be below a thermal layer, which would be very nice of the of the game. But we'll see. Yep, torpedo missed. That's unfortunate. That number three missed, but that's okay. We got the big one. Anyway, I'll try to escape here. I'll keep you folks updated. Actually, let's, uh, since we're not attacking the convoy, there's our boat heading away. Let's take a look at the convoy and see what else was in it. Uh, Corvette. I guess we can flip through it like this, huh? Okay, destroyers. More destroyers. Uh, ore carriers. Another, another tanker. Ooh. Oh, it looks like we missed uh, a passenger liner. Oh, that's pretty cool. Love the Razzle Dazzle. This is a pretty large convoy. Lots of tankers. Lots of destroyers, too. Victory cargo. And that's it. Wow. So we missed a troop transport, it looks like. But you know what? We still got out with a tanker. It's been a quite successful uh, past few attacks with the whale factory ship and the other medium tanker and then finally ending the patrol with another medium tanker sunk so a pretty good patrol all things considered well the destroyers circled us a little bit there were a few patterns dropped kind of astern of us and far away but nothing too extreme we were not hunted uh like we've been hunted in the past where it's just absolutely brutal we're sitting at around 160 meters now uh so we are fairly deep Anyway, it looks like that'll be all they have to offer for us. They're not going to waste a whole lot of time trying to suppress us. Uh, so we are going to plot a course home. And like I said, St. Narzir is our current home port for the time being. So we'll just hop on in there. Anyway, we're going to completely break contact and head for home. I'll keep you folks updated. And hopefully we're not bombed along the way. But I want to hold my breath. Well, we got a radio message from BDU to U-531. The base was changed to Trondheim, so this is our new home port in Norway. It looks like we will never be seeing the shores of France again. It's a pretty long journey up here, 4,521 kilometers, but uh, we should have plenty of fuel to get there. I am kind of worried about threading this gap. We will obviously do this submerged. I'm currently operating on the surface as the weather's pretty poor and it's pretty dark out. It's currently 1.25 in the morning. Okay, we have received a radio message here that I thought I'd share from the radio news. Polish partisans have launched a major uprising in Warsaw. The U.S. 3rd Army has cut off Brest, Lorient, and St. Narzir, and U.S. troops have reached Avranche. So that is what is currently going on in the world, and that seems to be the reason we are being rebased. Okay, we have two aircraft coming in, crash diving. I don't see them. Yep, there they are. Firing. Close. Okay, it looks like just the deck was damaged. Okay. Wow. Alright. Won't be surfacing anymore from here on out. Looks like we've reached uh, <laughs> intense allied air cover. Anyway, dropping down to 60 meters. And we'll stay silent and stay submerged. Okay, it is, as you can see, raining and very foggy. And we just got a radar contact dead ahead, bearing 003 degrees. We are going to dive the boat. Apparently it's a destroyer. 
200 Liter nach vorne drin. Pretty close. Eight kilometers away. Hopefully we'll be able to get under and do order and she won't be able to hear us. All right, our oil head slow now that we're under and rig for silent running. Doesn't look like she was making a beeline towards us, so I think we may be okay. And there we go, picked her up and she's just continuing to cruise on. Well, everybody, welcome to Norway. Here's Trondheim, as you can see. It feels like not that long ago when we were operating out of Bergen for a little bit there. But this will be our new home port, at least for the time being. Oh, well, in that case, there's our sub pins up ahead. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and end the patrol and dock. And then the patrol ended with 39,278 tons of shipping sunk. And nine allied units, it says units lost. I think that's counting those uh, B-24s we sunk at the beginning. All right, patrol 12, we got 1,498 renown. Hull integrity was 72% uh, this patrol. Even worse than last patrol where I was really worried about it. But yeah, that's actually pretty damn low. That's concerning. Sunk two destroyers, one destroyer escort, and one frigate. Three aircraft destroyed as well. Awesome. And let's check this. I'm actually curious. So we've sunk 600,000 tons of shipping. Uh, that firmly puts us in the lead here for aces. Otto Kretschmer is in second with two, 256,000 tons. 600,000 tons. What a number. <laughs> what a number. And yep, yeah, this is our new home port. We have 5,732 renown left. We can uh, change our boat to a Type 7 here apparently. Thousand Renown. It's been a while since we've uh, been able to even see the upgrades. Of course, we have a snorkel, batteries, sonar. We really have a lot of the best equipment around. There is a new radar warning out. Um, we may end up getting this here. I know we want to save for the Type 21, but I think it may be best just to upgrade our current boat and uh, try to make do. This is this is interesting. Passive acoustic homing, a modified T5, less affected by Foxer, which was the Allied decoys. Never used in battle conditions, although late war tests were promising. Okay, and they are a thousand renown a pop. We also have the loot torpedoes now, which we can get, and we'll have to check those out as well. I think maybe the best route going forward is to upgrade our Type 9 boat, because I'm not sure how feasible it is for us to even get a Type 21. And to be quite honest, I'm okay with not uh, using the Type 21 in the series and just having another series altogether dedicated to uh, the Type 21. But anyway, that'll do it for now. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.